Hello friends and welcome. Welcome to Sermon Link. I'm Pastor Larry Brown. This is a ministry of Powell United Methodist Church. And today, as you can see, we'll be here in uh, the book of 1 John, uh, a few verses from chapter 4. Um, 1 John is uh, writings out of the early church community, and particularly the community that connects to the tradition of the gospel writer John, sometimes referred to as the Johannine tradition, a kind of a fancy biblical scholar way of talking about things. But for our purposes, I think we can note that there is some clear connection, at least the, the themes, uh, some of the phrasing, um, the theology and the understanding of Christ uh, is consistent between what we're going to be looking at here in the book of 1 John and that connection to the gospel of John. So let me get right to it with these few verses and then we can reflect on it together. So beginning there with verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. And we'll stop there. And yet I do want to invite you, if you have the opportunity, to, to read the whole book of 1 John. There's only five short chapters, and it'll take you maybe ten minutes at the most. And you will find, as I have found, that that theme of God being love, and then us, as those who are connected to God, also loving, that that theme runs all the way through the passage. It is solid as solid can be and everything connects to that understanding. In fact, back in chapter 3, in the middle of that chapter, there's a verse there at verse 18. I just want to read it also for our consideration. Uh, the writer says, Let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. So this is the understanding of this writer, that love is an ethic, as we say. In other words, it is lived out in the way that we relate to others and respond to the world around us. It's not some theory. It's not just something that we romanticize about. It's certainly not a feeling or emotion, not here. It is a way of life. It is action. It is active and dynamic in our lives and particularly in our lives with one another. Love is key. It's essential. So essential, in fact, that the writer goes on to explain here in this book of First John, that if we do not love, then we don't know God. That these things are connected. If we profess a life with God, if we say that we know God and that we affirm how God knows us, what follows from that is our then capacity to love. So it's, it's nothing that um, suggests there's any kind of uh, discussion about it or debate. There's no compromise on this. It is love. And I think that's uh, both a word of hope for us, uh, that our faith and our relationship with God and Christ is grounded in love. It's also a challenge, because as was true in the early Christian church, not always did they love one another. And we've got to be honest to say, you know, that happens in the church even today. In fact, I'm saying the church because this is a word written kind of internally. It's an in-house document. This is kind of for us. In other words, we can't really think about loving others or loving uh, the world or those who we, whose name we do not know unless we are solid in our love for each other. And this then becomes a key. One of the things that we're going to be thinking about here at Powell United Methodist Church in this coming month of May is the fact that it is designated as National Mental Health Awareness Month. Did you know that? And so we're going to be doing some things around that. Some of our members are going to share their own struggle around mental health or how important mental health is to them, a way of reminding all of us of that critical aspect of not just physical health, bodily health, but our mental and emotional health. That matters too. And we as Christians, I think, can show our love for one another through our compassion and our prayer and our care for those who are in the midst of struggle related to mental illness. 
um, oftentimes in the past, anything related to mental illness was sort of shunned. It was kept quiet. It was secret. Uh, you know, folks were either embarrassed by it or, um, you know, concerned about what reaction they might receive if it was known that they were struggling in this way. Of course, we've come a long way in that respect, at least I hope that we have, to know that there's nothing to be ashamed of. And seeking help or therapy or other doctor's care around mental health issues, that's part of the process of seeking healing and wholeness in our lives. So we as a church support that. We want to lift that up uh, here in the month of May. And what I'm thinking about that is that's one way. It's not the only way, but it's one way and, and perhaps even a most important way of showing that we know God and live with God and take to heart this command to love, that that's at the, the center. And how do we do that? By caring for those who need care and need to be assured that they are never alone that God is with them, but that we are too, and that the church stands with them. So, so friends, be aware of your friends and your family who may be struggling emotionally or with mental illness kinds of uh, realities. Uh, lift them up in prayer. Find a way that works for you and for them to walk alongside and to know that as you're doing that, that's a real way in which you are, as the scripture says, loving one another. And why? Because God so loves us. There's hope and healing in that every time, no doubt. And I hope that you'll experience that uh, the rest of this week and in the days throughout the month of May, particularly. Hey, thanks for being with me. Always good to share Sermon Link with you. And uh, tune in again. We're here every week, of course, and are glad to be able to share uh, some reflection with you. For now, take care. Keep loving. Keep caring. Let the compassion flow. See you next time. God bless.